Hi, today I asked how your person feels about the situation, and the first card we got was the Four of Pentacles. This is a grasp, a holding on to something, refusing to let something go. This card also represents a miser in the tarot. This is a card that's saying money is important to me, but it doesn't make the world go around. There's a hollowness and a shallowness that results from this fixation on money or material goods. This is a hunger that will never be satisfied or satiated. Your person could be focused on their money right now, and they also could be realizing that there's nobody that can satisfy them or nobody that makes them quite as happy as you do. Your person is coming to the realization that the journey is more important than the destination. It's all about the journey, and knowledge is a reward in itself. This is the knowledge that they've picked up and the lessons that they've learned along the way, which are refining them. Iron sharpens iron, and this person is being refined. They're becoming a better version of themselves, and they're being motivated and inspired by you. This person has realized that they may have dropped the torch of inner guidance somewhere along the way, and they need to go back and pick it up and listen to their inner Jiminy Cricket or their inner guidance. This is the Four of Wands. This is the 1111 card, the Twin Flame card, and it's one of the happiest cards in the deck. But in this deck, they are facing the sun, but their back is casting a shadow. So practice discernment with this person and make sure what they're telling you really checks out. This is a happy card. You're both facing the sunshine and the sun is shining on you both. But this person may be telling you 99% of the truth and withholding 1%. Now that could be that they tell you that they like you or they're into you when really they're obsessed with you and they want to put this in concrete, put this in a foundation and really move forward with you. But they're intimidated of you and they're intimidated by you and they're scared to tell you that. Of course, what is being hidden is going to be different for everyone. And for some of you, there may not be nothing that is hidden. This person may also have trouble getting the words out or coming to finding out the right words to say to you because I'm stumbling over my words and that's rare for me. This is the Knight of Swords, and it points to the inner self. So you may perceive this person as rigid or emotionally disconnected and just ready to be defensive or go to war. But this person is following a flight of swallows, as we see here in the card, and they're leading him towards a break in the storm clouds and lightning in the sky. Swallows are a symbol of an instinctive return to the heart or the intuition or the home of the heart. And they symbolize freedom. So this is something that this knight is cherishing. You see how he's practically flying in the air. He has a sword and his cape is flying backwards. He's in the air just as the swallows are. And this is symbolic of freedom. This is something that this person really enjoys. When he feels that sense of freedom, he'll reveal more about himself. When he allows himself to admit what he wants and pursues it wholeheartedly, he won't fear to turn around and show you his face. This is a person waiting in anticipation. It's as if he's holding a vigil or holding a light, or I'm hearing for you, he's holding space. So he's holding space for you to come on into that space. He's dedicating himself to his highest purpose. This is a person who is now working on themselves. They're refining themselves, as we saw in the previous cards. This is getting into the highest and best outcome for himself, for all involved. And he's been praying and paying attention to only these logical things. I'm, I'm, I'm stumbling over my words and I'm usually a quick talker. So this person is really struggling with what to say. And I don't think they want to, I almost want to start this read again, but this person doesn't want to call you and then feel silent and then call you back and then prepare themselves. This person is really struggling with getting their thoughts into words and getting the right words to you just as I am in this reading. Okay, so back to the reading. This person is really making an effort to reach out to their higher self. And they're trying to bring spirit and meaning into this situation. So they're thinking more about why. Why did this person come into my life? Is it destiny? Is it fate? Were they meant to be instead of what of the situation? This person's really digging deep. And um, from what we see from the other cards, you've really inspired them to become a better person. And once they become that better person, they're going to be headed in your direction and they will be facing you and telling you, you are what makes me happy. And I can't let go of you. I don't want to move on.